Welcome stormwater designers. Thank you for watching this video. Today we have an excellent video, the six steps to modeling bioretention facilities. And the best part is you can follow along with our guide, six steps to modeling bioretention facilities from start to finish. And that's exactly what I'm going to be using for this video. So you can download that in the link below. So click the link and you can get this guide and you can follow along and really jumpstart your modeling uh, of bioretention facilities. So let's jump right back into the project. Like I said, I'm gonna follow this guide to a T to show you how easy it can be when you have the proper instruction. So first we're gonna determine our project purpose. I'm just going to do the sample project that comes with this guide and that is for purpose two, filtration. So first I'm gonna set it up, four acres of till force flat soil. So let's drop a basin in here is flat four okay also going to select my location on the map here the Olympia Airport 1.0 there we go and like I said you can download the template pack get WWHM 2012 and follow right along I'm going to connect to the point of compliance here and then go to the develop scenario let's drop a basin in and I did two acres of till lawn flat and two acres of roadway flat for some uh, impervious area. So two, two right there. Now you can go to step three, insert bioretention element and uh, run the scenario. So let's insert the bioretention element. Let's connect these uh, surface flow and interflow. I believe are the ones that we want selected. There we go right there in the guide. Hit OK. Next, I'm just going to use quick swale, and all this is going to do is fill in some of the values here. So when I go to run the scenario, uh, it runs properly, and I can finish this design. So connect to point of compliance. I believe uh, use simple bioretention and under drain are checked. And now I'm just going to run the scenario, and this shouldn't take too long. Um, I hope that's clear in the guide that you should run the scenario and then. Your bioretention will look something like this, and then we'll kind of get into more of the design here. So, so far, not too bad. We're going for filtration, so we want to get that 91% plus uh, filtration rate with the, or percent filtered with this scenario, and I'll show you how to do that. So we run the scenario. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go case at factor of two, and I'm going to add a one foot of layer three here. You can see that's right in the guide right here. Case at factor two. Now it should look something like this. It looks exactly like that. And now we're gonna move on to water quality. I'm gonna go size water quality. I'm not gonna change any of these features here. I'm just gonna hit size for water quality. And this should get us uh, an up to standard percent filtered facility here. So if you're following along with the guide, let's just start running. And uh, this is what our results will be. And then I'll show you how to produce a quick report. So overall, uh, pretty quick and easy with this guide. It really shows you uh, what steps to take to get this design. So uh, looks like the water quality feature is running. And I'll see you guys when that uh, finishes up. Okay, so the water quality, uh, the percent filtered uh, feature is finished. Sizing complete. I've got the 91.676%. Uh, percent filtered rate right here, which is exactly what we get uh, in the guide 91.76. Now let's see if we can uh, produce a report. So we're gonna go to the fourth window over reports. Uh, I'm not gonna make this one a draft. I'm just gonna go PDF report right here. Click that and that should produce a report for us. There we go. And this is a 23 page report. It has all of our project data and information in here uh, that that's relevant to our project. So that is the six steps to modeling a bioretention facility. It's all here in this guide. And I ask you to go click that link, download it. Uh, between this six steps to modeling bioretention facility and our free template pack, you can really jumpstart your design. So if you didn't know, you know the exact steps or you didn't have templates to work off of, now you have templates, now you have a guide to modeling, modeling bioretention facilities. This is saving you time uh, and money, which is extremely valuable, especially in our industry. So check those out, follow us on social media, hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.